have started talking up a new canal under construction in the arid north of Afghanistan. A video recently posted on YouTube shows shiny diggers roaring over sand dunes and workers from different ethnic groups toiling together. Some 5,500 people are working around the clock on the project, using over 3,300 bits of machinery. Once completed, the Kashtepa Canal will divert water from the Amudarya River for irrigation. The river, once known as the Oxus, rises in Afghanistan and Tajikistan, flows into Uzbekistan and is one of the longest in Central Asia. The Taliban expects the project to turn 550,000 hectares of desert into much-needed farmland. Two years after its takeover of Afghanistan, the Taliban is overseeing its first major infrastructure project, the 115-mile Kashtepa Canal. Designed to divert 20% of the water from the Amudarya River across the parched plains of northern Afghanistan, the canal promises to be a game-changer for villages like Ishbaks and Jaujan province. Like elsewhere in the country, residents here are suffering from a confluence of worsening food shortages, four decades of war, three consecutive seasons of severe drought and a changing climate that has wreaked havoc on rainfall patterns. Average temperatures across Afghanistan have risen by 1.8 degrees Celsius in the past 70 years, or twice the global average. Once the canal is completed, provisionally, two years from now, it could irrigate 550,000 hectares of desert, effectively increasing Afghanistan's arable land by a third and even making the country self-sufficient in food production. The canal project was initially conceived in the 1970s under the first Afghan president, Mohammad Dik Khan, and construction finally began in 2021 under the last, Ashraf Ghani. It inherited the project and swiftly approved about $100 million for its construction amounting to about a quarter of Afghanistan's yearly tax income. About 6,000 workers are now operating excavators and heavy-duty trucks around the clock, working to carve a ditch 100 meters wide, wider than the California Aqueduct. See, this is a project fully designed and fully funded by Afghans with no foreign support. The canal will be built and financed not by international aid, but by Afghanistan's revenue from domestic coal mines. But overseas Afghan experts say the country could face challenges not only in building the mega canal, but also in operating it. To save costs, the canal bed has not been sealed with cement, and along some stretches, briny groundwater has already seeped into the canal, tainting freshwater meant for irrigation. Feasibility studies have shown that 22% of water would be lost to seepage along some sections. Sediment might also clog the intake mechanism where the canal joins the Amudarya. In your opinion, will Afghanistan be able to build the canal? Share your opinion in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel to receive all new.